Hello, good afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time of day it is where you are. Uh, you join me again today with this Fiesta. I'm going to do a few little jobs on it, so I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Um, the first job I want to do is a repeat of a previous job, uh, which is to replace this headlight. So you might have watched a previous video of mine where I um, put in a new headlight that I got from eBay. but actually after fitting it and driving it for a little while I realized that was terrible uh, the quality was appalling the fit was appalling it wasn't pointing the right way when I adjusted it to try and get it to match the other one it was just pointing kind of up into the sky it was just not a good fit at all so I went to a scrapyard and got this particular one that's currently on the car uh, from a, a Mark III Fiesta that was there but as you can see it's really very steamed up so for Christmas, my lovely friend Oliver has bought for me a brand new old stock Ford badged Valeo made headlamp. So I think this should fit perfectly and will not let in water. So let's fit that. And there we are, done. Uh, hopefully this one will not steam up and will also be vaguely pointing in the right direction. But luckily the car's going in for its MOT next week, so if it isn't quite at the right level, uh, the garage will adjust it. So, yay, happy with that. The next job that needs to be done is in here, in the back of the car, because this rear seat belt here, I don't know whether they'll do it now, yeah, it won't come, it won't move, I can't pull it, it's stuck. Um, so I've bought a new seat belt, so I need to replace that. The other side is absolutely fine, it pulls happily. So um, yeah, for the MOT, you just need to sort that out. Having had a look in the Haynes manual, first thing to do is just remove these three screws holding this uh, rear seat cushion in place, and then I can get out the bolt for the bottom of the seat belt. I've loosened the seat enough to be able to get out the seat belt bolt, so I'm just undoing that now. Right, that's the bottom anchor loose. Now time to get to the boot and get that panel off. It looks like there's actually also a couple of, I don't know if you can see them, a couple of screws holding the panel on, or bolts I should say, holding this grey panel on inside there. So that's going to be fun to get those out. Right, I managed to get my uh, socket. Socket and these bolts, I'm just undoing them now. Right, plastic panel is free, so now I just need to undo that bolt holding the reel in place and that bolt holding the uh, pivot in place. Right, one offending seat belt removed. Now let's just hope the one I've ordered that's in that box is uh, the right one, and that it works. Well thankfully they do appear to look the same, so that's jolly good news. Let's do the uh, refitting, reversal, removal, etc. Right, panel's back in place. I've put the buckle, or the, sorry, the um, pivot back into the C-pillar. So now it's just a question of putting that uh, bottom mount back by the seat. Right, job jobbed. Seat belt now pulls happily. Happy days. And let's just make sure it fits into the buckle as well. Yes, yes it does. Hooray! final job today is to replace the leaking rocker cover gasket. Uh, as you can see there's sort of filth and oil and I can actually smell the oil uh, on the engine block sort of being burnt away as I drive so let's get that replaced. Right I've removed the air cleaner so now it's just a case of removing these four bolts that are holding the rocker cover on. Well, not a single one of those bolts was actually tight, so it's no surprise that it's been leaking. Um, let's see if we can get this uh, rocker cover off. Okay. Off. Ooh, 
gank it. Just peeling this old gasket off, I mean it's really hard and cracked. Um, so yeah, I'm not surprised he was not making any kind of seal whatsoever. So you can get all this cleaned up now and get the new gasket on. Right, that's uh, cleaned up as much as I can inside. I think it's just really, really kind of oil, like caked on oil residue. So I've cleaned it all off as much as I can. Um, that's, it's not going anywhere, so it's not gonna damage the engine, that oil residue. And I've cleaned up this edge and also the outside of it. So let's get the new gasket on. Oh, there's these handy like little tabs that sort of click into the metal of the rocker cover. So that's quite good. And this cork is way more pliable than the uh, the old one. Okay, I think that's all the tabs are now kind of locked in place. Let's get it back on the engine. I have cleaned up the edge of the engine here as well, where the gasket's going to meet onto. screws in and actually tight this time. I suspect there is a torque setting for them so I will just put them in finger tight for the moment and uh, go and find out what the torque setting is for them. Well I've had a look at the Haynes manual and the uh, specified torque for these bolts is uh, four to five newton meters. However, my torque range doesn't go that low, it only goes as low as 20, so it's just going to have to be tighten it by hand until it feels tight. And that feels quite nice now. Okay, I'm going to say that's four to five newton meters. Right, let's just get the uh, air cover back on and call it a day. Now I think it might be time to give it a little start, just check there is any leaks obviously coming from that gasket and check the headlights work. Well, that certainly seems fine. I can't see any oil immediately leaking out of it anywhere obvious. So we'll call that a job done and I'll just keep an eye on it over the next few weeks. So thank you again for joining me for this short little video just getting this car settled. I will be taking it for its MOT next week. Hopefully it'll pass. I don't think there should be any problems uh, as far as I know. All the rust has been sorted on it. Oh, I'll show you that. Here we go. It's had a little bit of welding done on the back of the sill here. And same here, back of this sill. I think all of it's been replaced up to about there, uh, where you can see it's slightly deeper, that return on the bottom. Uh, so that's all been done and uh, painted, just clean that out. So that's now one solid Fiesta. Uh, one hopefully not leaky engine. Seatbelts which work, lights which work, and yeah, I think that is everything. I don't know of anything wrong with this car now that would uh, mean that it won't pass an MOT. Um, emissions maybe, possibly, who knows? Um, I haven't actually uh, reconditioned the carburetor or anything. I think it's fine, it feels fine. So let's see how we go next week. Uh, join me again for another video. I've got plenty more cars to be playing with. Uh, I haven't yet done a video about this new little uh, toy hiding in the corner there, so uh, we'll get to that soon. See ya, bye.